You know, the great thing about traveling is you just never know what you're going to stumble upon. I'm Todd Newton, the Tattooed Traveler. We are in Omaha, Nebraska, in an area called the Old Market. Lots of cool restaurants and bars and shops, but this is the coolest of them all. Get ready, friend. I'm taking you inside Hollywood Candy. Isn't this place great? At the end of the 19th century, Omaha was in its prime as a great railroad center. It connected the settled east with the wild open west. And the old market area here was the epicenter of the activity. It was bustling with produce dealers, buyers of all kinds, and transporters. But it's this funky building right here on the corner of 12th Street and Jackson that brings visitors from all over the country. This is Hollywood Candy. Hollywood Candy opened its doors in 2007, and tourists love the vintage atmosphere and the large selection of candy bars and tasty treats from around the world. A lot of the candy here is handmade, and some, like these candy cigarettes, are treats that you can't find in too many places. Hollywood Candy is known for having the largest selection of Jelly Belly flavors in all of Nebraska. And that's saying something. And the fudge, oh yeah, made fresh every single day. Look at some of these flavors. Pecan Turtles, Buckeyes. Cinnamon Toast Crunch toppings, Fruity Pebbles. You kidding me? Taking me back with that one. Let's get a look at these over here. Oh, yeah. I sense a cheat day in my very near future. <laughs> now, if it's a hot meal you're after, there's also a 50s-style Hollywood diner. You could grab a nice snack or a strawberry shake, which I hear is a favorite of this guy. Yeah, Warren Buffett and Bill Gates come here. Often, I'm told. I mean, let's be honest. Candy brings out the kid in all of us. It brings back great memories from our childhood. And here at Hollywood Candy, you'll find just about every kind of sweet treat under the sun. Even, and this is for my little brother Jared, Moon Pies, his favorite. And every flavor of saltwater taffy under the sun. Here's KC, who's worked here for years to give us a little more history on the place. Welcome, Todd, to Hollywood Candy Haymarket, uh, Old Market, downtown Omaha here. Little history on the store. A gentleman by the name of Larry Richling had a candy store, and at the time was uh, probably the biggest mall store in Omaha, West Roads Mall. That store grew and grew. He uh, came downtown here in the uh, old market and he opened up another candy store and that grew and grew and grew because he was a collector as you might have seen with all the video here. And then this spot became available and he came into this spot at 1209 Jackson and it, once again it just kept growing and growing and growing for everybody's love of classic candy. So that's kind of what we go by, that old, old candy. One other thing, we think uh, adults have a little more fun here than kids. So that's kind of a brief history of Hollywood candy. Hey, thanks, Casey. And a collector Mr. Richling was. This pink caddy was the first piece of memorabilia he added to the store. Followed by all of these dolls. Some cute, some creepy. And wait till you get a load of this. A collection of Pez dispensers that would make any collector's mouth absolutely water. I've seen my share of Pez dispensers, but some of these are new even to me. These are for display only, as you can see. But man, I would love to get my hands on that Elvis or Marilyn. Isn't that cool? Such a collection here. But here's what I was really excited to show you. If you come right over here, through this door, is the largest pinball museum I've ever seen. And we've been to a few. But here at Hollywood Candy, there are over 50 classic, hard-to-find machines, all of them 
in working order. Take a look. I'm certainly no pinball expert, but some of these have got to be worth a lot of money. And if you look up, the walls of the pinball museum are lined with classic board games. I haven't heard of most of these games, which just speaks to the value of this collection. Wow. They even have a couple of classics for us old school guys. Asteroids, look at this. The original Space Invaders. We're almost to the end, but let me take you through the beer can collection here because they have an incredible record store in the back. Used vinyl, and I'm talking some real classics back here. Look at it. There's Prince, 1999. And this is just one part of it. We'll go back through here. And we've got, I think I saw a John F. Kennedy spoken word album. And right above that, Jackie Mason. Where else are you going to find these? Mini Pearl. <laughs> Some old vaudeville classics too. Like, uh, oh, that's a good one. Hal Holbrook, his Mark Twain one-man play. W.C. Fields there. And this is a fully operational radio station. They broadcast every weekend from right here at Hollywood Candy. And this, a classic jukebox. This is old school personified. Look at this. Cool in the gang, stepping out. You would punch in the number of your record selection. And then the 45 would drop right in there. And play through the speakers. Here are the buttons you'd push. And usually you would get, if I remember correctly, like three songs for a quarter. So cool. Truthfully, I probably could have spent about three hours inside there and still not have seen it all. A great time. Great time here in Omaha, Nebraska and the Old Market. I'm Todd Newton, the Tattoo Traveler. I do hope that you will like this video. I hope even more that you will subscribe to this channel because believe me when I tell you, we got a lot of great destinations coming your way. Until we meet again a little further down the path, travel safely, my friend.